The Quran draws attention to a very important geological function of mountains. We place firmly embedded mountains on the earth so it would not move under them. As noticed, it is stated in this verse that the mountains have the function of preventing shocks on the earth. This fact was not known by anyone at the time the Quran was revealed. It was in fact brought to light recently as a result of the findings of modern geology. According to these findings, mountains emerge as a result of the movements and collisions of massive plates forming the Earth's crust. When two plates collide, the stronger one slides under the other, the one on the top bends and forms heights and mountains. The layer beneath proceeds under the ground and makes a deep extension downward. That means that mountains have a portion stretching downwards as large as their visible portion on the Earth. In a scientific text, the structure of mountains is described like this. Where continents are thicker, as the mountain ranges, the crust sinks deeper into the mantle. In a verse, this role of mountains is pointed out through a comparison with packs. Have we not made the earth as a bed and the mountains its packs? Mountains, in other words, clench the place in the Earth's crust together by extending above and beneath Earth's surface at the conjunction points of the place. In this way, they fix the Earth's crust and prevent it from drifting over the magma stratum or among its plates. Briefly, we may liken mountains to knees that keep wood pieces together. The fixed and function function of the mountains is defined in scientific literature with the term isostasy. Isostasy means the following. Isostasy, general equilibrium in the Earth's crust maintained by a yielding flow of rock material beneath the surface under gravitational stress. This white rule of mountains that was discovered by modern geology and seismic research was revealed in the Quran centuries ago as an example of the supreme wisdom in God's creation. In one of the verses, we are informed that the mountains are not motionless as they seem, but they are in constant motion. You will see the mountains you reckon to be solid going past like clouds. Such is the artist of God, who disposes of all things in perfect order, surely he is aware of what you do. This motion of mountains is caused by the movements of Earth's crust that they are located on. The Earth's crust sort of flows over the mantle layer, which is denser. It was at the beginning of the 20th century when, for the first time in history, a German scientist by the name of Albert Wegener proposed that the continents of the Earth had been attached together at the initial phase of the world, but then drifted in different directions and thus separated as they move away from each other. Geologists understood that Wegener was right only in the 1980s. 50 years after his death. Discovered as a result of the geological research carried out at the beginning of the 20th century, this moment of the Earth's crust is explained by scientists as follows. The crust and the uppermost parts of the mantle with a thickness of about 100 kilometers are divided into segments called plates. There are six major plates and several small ones. According to the theory called plate tectonics, 
these plates move above on Earth, carrying continents and ocean flow with them. Continental motion has been measured at from 1 to 5 cm per year. As the plates continue to move about, this will produce a slow change in Earth's geography. Each year, for instance, the Atlantic Ocean becomes slightly wider. There is a very important point to be stated here. God has referred to the motion of mountains as a drifting action in the verse. Today, modern scientists also use the term continental drift for this motion. Unquestionably, it is one of the miracles of the Quran that the scientific fact, which has been recently discovered by science, was announced in the Quran centuries ago.